Well, hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm back here in Hollywood, California. Too excited to be at the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival. This is my first year attending, I'm pretty excited about it. I usually come to the Chinese theater every year for animation as film. But in this special case, I gotta have to show up for this. And look at my transition from black and white to color. Hey, like Wizard of Oz, pretty cool. So here I am back right here at the TLC Chinese Theater and they're doing the LA Latino International Film Festival which is perfect because I am Latino myself and it hasn't opened yet, I just got here right now. Yeah, I was running, running to get here on time. I'm also going to focus on the animation stuff that's happening on this day since, you know, they're doing animation day here, right here in this festival. That's why I'm here for. Thanks to, um, I forgot to give special thanks to Los Angeles Latino International Film for giving me a press pass in electric, so the electrical press pass, it's pretty awesome. Thanks again you guys for sending me the, pet, the press pass, so it's just, you know, it's something I really need so I can, so I can help make this video as possible. Yeah. Alright, here's the expansion of this festival, so it's right here, I can see it now. And they're setting up already, so yay! Terrific! Hey, Animation Day of Aviv! Welcome! Yay, I'm so happy to be here. Look, we have like 20 years. Yes, we do! <laughs> Mine is the darkest brown you've ever seen. <laughs> you think it's black or brown? I don't know. I think it's, it's brown. Well, it's interesting light, but yeah. it's brown. It's the darkest brown you've ever seen. <laughs> Confused for black. <laughs> hey! Oh, I think I died and went to heaven, you guys. They're doing Warner Brothers right now, so I heard Disney Animation isn't gonna do some some recording, so just in case, just managing that. Gosh, this, this is heaven, you guys. This is insane. Honestly, I think this has become my new family now. The animation industry is like my family now. Oh, by the way. She got these Bugs Bunny pens. This is just amazing. This is from the Looney Tunes cartoon series at uh, Max. It's not HBO Max anymore. It's called Max. Don't forget that. But I want this. I already got one for, for myself. Hey, my name is Brian Dinas. I am the co-director of Latinx and Animation. And I would love to welcome you all to Lali, the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival 2023. We began by acknowledging that Los Angeles sits on the land of the Ga Gabrieleno Tongva peoples. We acknowledge uh, Gabrieleno Tongva as the original caretakers of Tohangar, which spans LA County and the California Channel Islands. The Gabrieleno Tongva people continue to re remain in relationships with these lands through ceremony, culture, and stewardship. They are important parts of not only the history of this area, but also in continuing knowledge of this place. To go beyond acknowledgement, we encourage you to visit Tongva.land and learn more about the Tongva Sarahava Conservancy <laughs> and the Tongva-led uh, uh, land uh, has, I believe, been returned for the first time ever. So, I'm excited to welcome and start our first uh, industry talk for animation. Uh, we have Warner Brothers Animation, and we have a special guest, Juan Mesa Leon, who is the director of the upcoming movie, Aztec Batman Clash of Empires. Sounds awesome, by the way. Hello. Oh. <laughs> All right. Your experience spans a lot. You've done directing and TV, storyboarding, everything. Rick and Morty, uh, Harley Quinn, yes. uh, many, many others. But, you know, this is a great opportunity for everyone to learn from you. So, how did you get your start into animation? That's what I want to know. Oh, man. You can start from where you're from, you know, how you got here and everything. Okay. 
Well, I remember back in the room, no, I'm kidding. Um, no, well, I'm, I'm from uh, Ensenada, Baja California, Mexico. Uh, right? Sí. Mexicanos en el cuarto. Sí, yo soy de, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm from Baja California, Ensenada, Mexico, and ever since I was a little kid, I've always loved movies and cartoons and all that stuff, right? So ever since then, I've always had the bug to be involved in this, somehow. Even when I was a little kid, I would say, you know, that when I grow up, I want to work in, you know, on Disney cartoons. Everybody says that, right? Mm -hmm. But back then, you know, this is, this is in Mexico, this is, this is a um, whole different perspective on things. So, you know, the very first uh, obstacle that I had to overcome were, were my immediate family and friends and everybody that saw that as just this silly dream. Like, come on, get a real job, right? Making cartoons, that's, I mean, come on. Obviously, it's something that um, over there is not um, quite as established as, as an industry. So that's where the journey began. And the very first thing is, you know, actors, I, I would watch cartoons every day and, and I would just draw the cartoons that I would see. Um, I fell in love with with the Looney Tunes. Um, my favorite car car cartoon characters are always gonna be the, the, the Looney Tunes, because uh, they're funny. Um, so ever since I was a little kid, I, I uh, this comes from my mom, I think, I had the talent to draw. Um, and just drawing every day, you know, in, in school and everything, all my notebooks, instead of having actual lessons written down, they had like sketches and cartoons and little animations in the corner. That was, that was my school, man. <laughs> Making cartoons at the corner of the notebook in high school and getting in trouble for it, you know? So, you know, th that inspired you as, and in, you're a self-taught artist as well. So like right. after this journey, like, you know, how did, how did you, start getting more work already your first time in the industry too right, right? well it, it fell into animation by sort of by accident in this in that sense um because i started in live action first like my best friend in mexico um he wanted to do like a short a short film but he, he wanted to do some storyboards and he knew that i know how to draw i would make a little comic book so he gave me some chapters on that book the shot by shot the, the blue book that has a, that has a chapter on storyboards made some zero copies of that gave me those and I studied those and started practicing and I started doing storyboards for him. And then eventually we got to the to the studios in Baja where they shot Titanic in Rosarito. Um, and they and I became an extra there. Uh, uh, started making connections with people that work in the studio. Eventually they found out that I knew how to draw and then a production came along that we needed a storyboard artist. And, I, and that was my very first storyboard, paid storyboard in 1999 <laughs> for this little movie called The Expendables that came out in, in US8 Network. It was a TV movie. It's not the Sylvester Stallone one, unfortunately. <laughs> it, it, it has Revan Givens, you know? It's, it's, uh, so I did the storyboards for that. And then eventually, you know, you start making connections, people start noticing your work and, you know, you start absorbing more and more and more information on how you can grow uh, as a storyteller. I remember the, the, the first day he told me Adler for that movie. He would even like jump on on, 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 on desks and on couches or whatever, and then you would lay down, lay down on the floor and like near the camera, and you put yourself here blah, 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 for angles, for, for, for action sequences. So you learn a lot. So you learn as much as you can from people that are actually doing it. Because I think that was, that's the first thing that, that, you know, I would say for somebody that wants to go into this journey is to definitely surround yourself with people who are doing what you are interested in doing, right? Um, Alright, up next is Disney Animation! Disney 100! Yeah! Hello! Buenas tardes, gente bonita! Welcome to La Live Animation Day! Woo! Director of Latinx in Animation. It is a pleasure to be here with all of you tonight. Woo! Welcome to La Lib, the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival. 
Yeah. Give it up for Ali. We couldn't be here. We couldn't be here, and we um we are excited to be here with all of you in our year celebration of films, television, music, industry, animation, and much, much more. I hope you've been enjoying some of the films and the music that the festival has to provide. Um, we want to begin with an acknowledgement that Los Angeles sits on the land of the Gabrielino Tangva people. We acknowledge the Gabrielino Tangva as the original caretakers of the Pambagar Channel Islands, which spans LA County and the California Channel Islands. The Gabrielino Tonga people continue to remain in relationships with these lands through ceremony, culture, and stewardship. They are important parts of not only the history of this area, but also the continuing knowledge of its people. To go beyond acknowledgement, we encourage you to visit Tongva.land and learn more about the Tongva people. It is a conservatory in LA where the land has rightfully returned to their lands for the first time ever. So let's give it up for that. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors, to all our awesome Kick-Ass volunteers, yeah, all of our staff members, and everyone that makes our league possible. A huge shout out to Brian Dimas, co-founder and co-director of Line 19 Animation, where are you? Yeah, Brian. We're not here without Brian. And of course, our talented, passionate LXI team. If you're here tonight, please raise your hand. We want to give you a shout out. Thank you so much for your time. Okay, now we are so excited to be here in this amazing panel with Walt Disney Animation. Yeah. Creating magic at Disney Animation with Walt Disney Studios. It will feature a conversation about how movies are made through collaboration, iteration, and innovation. From story to production, speakers Juan Pablo Reyes Lancaster Jones, co-producer of Wish. Yeah. Albert Ramirez, production manager, Wish. And Jasmine Reed, production supervisor, Wish. We will share the insights and examples from several animated films as well as teaser trailer for Disney Animation's next feature, Wish. Moderator by Natalia Adarme Mendoza, production coordinator, Wish. Enjoy the show and please no, your phones, no filming. Hasta la vista, Artis. Okay, guys. Thanks again. See you guys at the movies. All right, so my last panel will be uh, the Disney Television Animation Panel. Already with a bang. We're getting a signature of, of Moon Girl from of the showrunners and people that work on it. So far, the show, I really am enjoying it. I think it's one of the better Marvel cartoons we have. So, yeah, good job, DBT, I guess. Yeah, good job, guys. <laughs> and Marvel, they contributed, but I know they did. Hello, hello. Hello and welcome. My name is Brian Demas. I am the co director of Latinx and Animation. I want to give you all a warm welcome to La Leaf, the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival. We couldn't be more excited to have you all here for our yearly celebration of films, television, music, industry, animation, and much, much more. Uh, you know, it's great to see people here supporting, and this is what this event is all about. Um, we want to begin with acknowledging that Los Angeles sits on the land of the Gabrielino and Tongva people. Own devil dinosaur, Latinx leadership and influences. So the creative team is going to uh, come up here and walk us through making a hit animated TV series. So I'm going to introduce our moderator and speaker, Pilar, Fren P Pilar Flynn, the producer of Devil's New Girl and Devil Den. Hello, everyone. So 
working? Hello. Uh, I think we're going to start with a trailer and then we'll get into it. So. <laughs> show so much you guys. So uh, I'm going to introduce you to our incredible team and panelists. Uh, you may have seen their write-ups uh, which were their season one titles but I'm so excited to let you all know that because we've been greenlit for season two every single person on this oh panel God. has gotten a promotion since then so I am going to introduce them by their new season two titles which I'm so so proud of and so excited to so let's start with the incredible Rafael Chavez, our producer. <laughs> and next we have Jose Lopez, our character art director. <laughs> next we have the fabulous Sandra Powers, who is our lead editor. Finally, we have Luciano Herrera, our assistant art director. Come on. So, so proud of you. So, uh, before we dive in, I just want to say a few words about how special this is to us and how groundbreaking this is to be on a panel with all of this Latinx leadership, which I have never gotten to do before. And um, I myself, I am on the board uh, of the Latino Film Institute. We've got some more amazing board members here. I represent the animation arm. And it is a true dream to have those two sides of myself come together here between working with LFI and having these incredible Latino members of our team together. The synergy is just so clear and special to me. This is something that's never happened before. So um, yeah, with that, we're gonna talk about how we got here and you know, answer some questions at the end. Hopefully you all got some signed Moon Girl posters, which are really rare. And uh, some are already being sold on, the, on eBay, so I'm gonna those. <laughs> I'll keep it up. And um, yeah, let's just acknowledge how special this is. And from there, and let's start with- It really is, it really is special to be here in this panel. Uh, I've been in animation for over 20 years, and this, I've never worked with as many Latinos as I have on this show, so uh, it's really, really special. Yeah, we can picture ourselves. And by the way, I forgot to say, um, I'm Pilar, I used to be producer on season one, and uh, we'll be co-executive producer, which is co-showrunner of season two, so I'm also very excited to do that. And, um, and just so you know, there's other members of our team here. We have um, Ariana Nonoris is here. She's our fabulous production assistant. We have Rodney Cloudy, who's my partner in being my co-EP. And then we have the awesome Steve Loder. Our EP is here supporting. And let me tell you all, this is what an ally looks like. It is because of him that we have this incredible diverse show that is authentic, both on screen and behind the scenes. And you know, he not only saw us, he believed in us. And he uh, helped us all kind of take this next level up. And so we're so grateful for him to be here and supporting us today. So that's our team. So, all right, so let's get you um, trained. And if you trained, you know, to get into your animation specialty. And um, yeah, we got into New York. As you know, season two is approved. And so we're in production. And um, as part of our season two, thank you, thank you so much. We um, wanted to bring somebody on board that was special to us, that would be a formidable uh, villain that could play against Lawrence Fishburne, who plays the Beyonder himself. And we are so excited for the first time anywhere ever to share with you all that we have the one and only Edward James Olmos on our season two. So we feel so privileged and excited to have Eddie. This is going to be his character. Uh, for those of you who know the Marvel uh, world, he will be playing the formidable Molecule Man, who is a huge Marvel character uh, in season two. And um, yeah, we were just so honored to like when we reached out to you that. that you know, to have you on board. And um, I just wanted to ask you, I know we've had so many conversations, obviously. We're all here 
um, and animation was such an important thing to you. Why do you think it's important that we as Latinos see ourselves represented both, both on and off screen in animation? Well, this is it. I mean, basically, uh, it's a form of understanding of oneself. Okay? It's an audiovisual event. It attacks the conscious mind. And I look very good there. Oh, you look so nice. No, no, I am the deep developer, right? I'm telling you right now. But uh, I will say I'm so proud of you guys. I really am. It's really, really awesome. It's been a great experience. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys for, for having me on here. And uh, inviting me, Pilar, for inviting me to be part of this program. It's it's so important for us to realize that we're 22 percent of the population, and we're less than four percent of the images that we see on the screen television. You know? And uh, it, there's really there's no way that you can understand another person without seeing them. So when we see, you know. Everything everywhere. Yep. All together. You see that world and, and you embrace it. It's not you, but hey, I can understand that. That's what it does. It just allows you to understand others. And this is very important. Animation is really the key because everybody gets attracted to it. I don't know what it is about, you know, but animation. That as, as a baby, as a kid, you're glued, and, and it grabs you to hold you on. And, and it doesn't matter when you drop into the picture, you know, you start to look at it and being past the there it is, and boom, you'll stop and you'll, you'll watch the rest of it. You know what I mean? It's, it's that kind of attraction. But I will say that uh, it's a long time coming, you know, for shows like this. It's, it's not only Latino shows. Okay? It's not only Latino shows, it's, it's about allowing culture to breathe life into all of us. And uh, so there, I'm so proud of you guys because if this is a hard road. I've been doing this for 50 years and I, I will say this, I'll be very, uh, I'll tell you something back, by saying that uh, I've been uh, very fortunate in, in, in the last 20 years, 30 years, I've been involved with at least 70%, if not more, of all Latino themed projects in the come out of this city and out of this country. And uh, people say, hey, I, I've either been asked to help them cast it, or I've been asked to direct it, or to act in it, or produce it, or something. And I've been very fortunate because we still am. You know, I'm kicking a lot of you. I'm ready to first in Indiana, or in, 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 uh, in uh, Boyle Heights. And, uh, and everybody knows my story. So he hand painted your character, Malakuman, and signed it. I'm so jealous. <laughs> yeah, you know, now, now everything we do is digital. You know, this drawing I did is you know, all everything in the computer. And then I mentioned to Pilar, you know, I want to do something for, for Mr. Olmos. And I said, something, a traditional painting, something he can take home with him. Hopefully, <laughs> made with his treasure. hands. It's so rare, you know, in the nation. So I hope you like it. Yeah, I love it. I'm not like, it's my wall. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That sign and everything. My character. Yeah. So I think, kind of looks um, like me, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. We probably don't have time for Q&A. Q&A, do we have, we have time, don't we? We do? Okay. Two questions. Two questions. Okay, does anyone have? Uh, this is so dope.
Perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, so the last thing I'm doing right now is a mix-up, like a meet and greet with other people in the industry. And it's presented by Nickelodeon, so Nickelodeon are setting this party up, so thank you Nickelodeon. You guys are awesome. Thank you as well. Well guys, that's about it. I want to give special thanks to the Los Angeles Latino International Film Festival for inviting me in. Yeah, I apologize that I couldn't make it last year. I was sick at the time, but now I'm better now. I also want to give major thanks to to Latinx in animation as well. Um, I've been I've been part of the membership for a while now, and they've been fantastic. They've been like one I don't know. They've been like a family to me now. Like they treat me like like I'm a strong family member. Like they, you know, it's just you know I get the feels for this. I just. I love doing this. I, I love joining in with with this group. It's just one of the best groups I, I just encountered. It's, you know, it's something I really needed. But you know what? Thanks again, you guys. Thanks to everyone. Of course, it's just, you know, it's one of the best. So yeah, I want to give major thanks to them. And don't forget to subscribe as well to everyone. Thanks for watching and, you know, all that, comments and thumbs up and patreon as well it's been pretty helpful though but i gotta say is i'm done for tonight i'm very exhausted so signing off for tonight and i'll see y'all next time take care